Hello, Big League here doing a review of the Instone 3D Mini Printer. This thing is, uh, you can see the color scheme, it's aimed for the amateur, those who just starting out to enjoy the world of 3D printing. Uh, you can see how the color scheme is set up. It's also built in a very ice, like a very um, non-DIY, non not too many exposed parts, very self-contained. You can see even the power, the power supply is contained um, system. And all you gotta do is just park the filament here, feed it through the tubes, and off you start. Uh, just to show you how to set this up is you first, let me just take this off and start from the very beginning. You gotta be very careful about this hook because it's very, very um, weak actually. Um, so make sure you don't add, you don't add additional weight on this because this might break off. Uh, what you gotta do is it comes folded like this. You fold this down, you put the reel, you see how this is indented like this. You put the reel in here like so. And so that this thing, you see how it's coming up from here, it feeds up this way. Uh, you're supposed to chop this off so that it goes through this. It goes through this hole. There's a hole at the bottom here. And this is the clamp that clamps the filament together. So you press this so that you can manually move this up. So you press this and then you could see the color going through this and you manually push this all the way to the other end and you're not quite ready to print yet. What you gotta do is first, you, when you turn it on, you go through first heating the nozzle up. So right now the nozzle is 116, I just had this on. You press this and you go heating print head. You see it says 46, it's about halfway, it goes to 200, 30 Celsius, um, that's the maximum. There's some printers that go to 300, but those cost a lot more. And um, because it's 230, it limits you to using PLA or PETG type filaments. And also, this is not heated as well, so it limits you further. Um, so because it's not heated, uh, you have to apply glue onto this so that when it prints onto uh, the base, you have a model that stays put. Otherwise it would fall off because of the movement. This tray will constantly move. This is magnetic, it's also flexible, so then you could actually pop the figure off. You don't necessarily need this. Uh, this is magnetic again. You put this in here so then it sticks, it's stable. And the reason why you have that hole here is so that you can put your finger here and you can pop off your figure just like that. So make sure it says there's a warning, make sure you don't touch any of this top part because that's where the nozzle is and that's where it melts the plastic to create the model. So I'm gonna show you how the, how do you get models from the internet and then put it into the SD card to feed into it or you could feed it directly here with the USB cable connected to the printer. Because it takes about like four to eight hours to print a model, um, you you it's better off if you leave it if you record it into an SD card and let it handle it. Otherwise, you have to leave the computer on just as long as well for it to print to constantly feed that model uh, information. So um, it's about ninety eight percent. Once it hits one hundred percent, it would say it's ready. Okay, what else? is here i could show you this is the other view and this is the nozzle you see that golden tip that's the nozzle ah there is a little knob switch here there is a screw here and this is to adjust the height of this so let me just bring the light down a little further there we go you see that little red switch here, that's a switch to tell this nozzle to stop. So it will go down and hit this screw and it says stop. So this thing, it determines how high this nozzle is in regards to the platform. So it's done.
it's 138C out of 240. So, oh, so the, sorry, the max temperature is 240C now, not 230. Yes, they have made uh, improvements over time, even with the same model. You see that this is, there's some improvements here with this motor. This These wires used to be touching the um, nut here, as in this long screw, but they have decided to add these clamps here to re-divert the wires, so good on them. Anyways, I'll show you the Splicer to, sh to download models into this. So I'm going to show you how to download models from the internet that you could print off from. And this is a very good source, Thingiverse, and this is one of my favorites, this uh, Fox. Um, and you click on download, you get a zip file which opens up to an STL file. Um, once you have that, the, you have to install a piece of software that can run it. and Instone provides actually a rebranded version of Cura, which is version it has a version one of Cura. It works it works fine, uh, but you could download the latest one uh, for the Mac from Ultimaker. They make Cura, which is open source and it's free. So I had it downloaded, so now it's available for Mac, and here it is. Uh, you open up the file. And this is the ones that it came with. This I'm, I meant it was it came with the SD card. These are all the various models there. And I want the one that I downloaded, which was the Fox. And you open that, and there's the Fox. So there's many tutorials on how to use this, um, but I want to show you how do you fill out the numbers here. So it has these settings, right? Um, you actually you have that available. On from the printer manual. So here is the user guide for Cura and it has all of these numbers that you could use in basic, advanced, so speed, distance, travel speed, that you could take in and fill it out here. And once that's filled out, um, make sure you go to settings, manage printer, and when you install it, it would be custom, actually, the custom um, machine. I just renamed it. And make sure you go here, and then you change these to this, to 110, which is 4.3 inches, um, which is the approximate volume of the printer. Uh, the height is actually a tad smaller. It's 4.9 normally. Uh, made it to 4.3 inches, uh, which is equal to this. So it doesn't, so I, I get a guarantee that it doesn't hit the nozzle. And I fill in these numbers based on the manual. Here's 7 and nozzle size 0. 0.4. And that's it, you're done. Uh, it's not a heated bed, by the way. It's just, as, as you saw, it was just a plastic platform with, where you put the glue on. Close that. And to print, you have to just save this, save this project. Um, save and you save it as that interesting let me just go to and it's saved as a 3mf that's not what I want you got to go save as you want to save it as a g-code file and that's what the printer reads and you save it onto the micro SD card and you put it into the machine and you print. So you could run a USB cord and print it off, uh, but you would have to leave the computer on for nine hours or so to, for this. I would rather just um, put it on a micro SD and just let it um, do its own thing without having us to leave the computer on. So this is the result of the print. And you see it's quite good quality for $200, 135 pounds. And if you zoom in, you'll see the details of the print lines. And that's because it's a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. If you want them to be invisible, I would say get a 0.2 millimeter uh, printer. Hope you enjoyed the review. And if you want to see more reviews, just like and subscribe. Have a nice day.